Hi, my name's Dr Vivian Rolfe. I'm a university lecturer here in the UK and I'd like to talk about some open education resource projects today and this one's called Scooter. Scooter stands for Sickle Cell Open Online Topics and Educational Resources and Scooter's four years old and I'll tell you a little bit about how it started in a moment. So we, we initiated this project as a hub, as a gathering place for any educational materials on sickle cell disease and indeed a whole range of blood disorders. We've had contributions not just from other university lecturers but students, also through collaborations with hospitals and pathology departments. Um, also contributions from nursing and from the public. So it's an amazing project and four years on it just continues to grow. The key thing is it's free it's open and we genuinely mean that we just don't brand ourselves open and then ask you for passwords and payments look for the creative commons logo so you are free to use the stuff you're free to adapt it to crop it to incorporate it into other materials please do but all we ask is just just attribute us so where it says by there and the little person we just say well just just link back to sickle cell anemia.org and that would be awesome so and we were really lucky in 2010 to get funding by the um, Open Educational Resource Program in the UK, UK OER. And over the period of three years, JISC and the Higher Education Academy ran these programs and really probably linked up to most of the universities in the UK. I would say there were probably around about 100 projects. Um, so really kick-starting the whole of this philosophy of open sharing materials um, within the UK. And why was it significant for us? Well, 2010 was the 100th anniversary of the discovery of sickle cells by James Herrick, who you can see there. And he was the first to actually publish a paper that described peculiar elongated cells. And you can see some of them there on this um, little microscope photograph. Um, the doorbell's just gone, but I'm not going to stop. So anyway, going back to our website, now it's essentially a blog. So if you're familiar with blogs, you know on the menus you can search by categories and key subjects. But if you're not familiar with blogs, you might just want to go to the OER tab. And here you can scroll down and search for a whole variety of subjects. And we're very keen, when we ran this project at De Montfort, to involve as many people as possible. We actually involved all faculties, including law including arts, um, nursing and obviously science and this was fantastic we had some great contributions and there was a student called Jacob in the arts department he was so inspired by the project he produced some absolutely remarkable artwork which was just so key for us that was, ju was just wonderful. Um, in nursing we managed to collaborate with probably one of the most important nurses in the UK in terms of developing nurse counselling as a discipline and this is Professor Elizabeth Anyonwu and she very kindly donated some resources and did some videos for us um, so that was really lovely to see and hear how nurse counselling started and actually hear about some of her work around the world starting up sickle cell support groups and supporting patients and families of people with sickle cell disease. We have um, other resources on here that were built in collaboration with hospitals and we have a whole number of genetics resources, animations um, and all sorts of learning resources to support the understanding of the genetics behind the condition. I think that's all I wanted to show you there. We also have a YouTube channel so we're very keen to really embrace the philosophy of being open. We don't want just to produce materials that you need a certain device that you can't view on the iPad so what we've done, everything that we make, if it's a flash animation, which you can see as these cartoons on this page, we also produce them as a video. We also publish the transcript, the words. We also produce PDF files, so lots of multiple formats, just to make sure this stuff can be used as openly as possible, which is as the word intends. I'm really excited today that I've just uploaded this presentation by Professor Simon Dyson and he is the key academic at De Montford leading all the sickle cell work and this is his guide to school policy, helping schools support children with sickle cell disease. If you want to find out more go to my blog vivrolf.com. There's a whole page of my other open education projects. I support these myself, they're independent of universities. So please come and chat to me, get involved and please use our stuff. Thank you very much for listening.